So I started in the College of Architecture my first year when I got here, and then I left quickly when I realized I didn't actually want to be an architect, but that's hard to know when you show up at college and you've never had that kind of class in your high school before. You just know I'm good at math and I'm good at art, and so everyone's like, oh, architecture. And I really thought that would be my path, but then realized it's not what I wanted to do. But I was really happy when I ended up in business and marketing because I realized that was a much more pragmatic way to go into art as an actual career rather than going to an art school, but I'd rather have a fallback degree from tech as well, which is great. I'm currently a preschool teacher and also starting my own functional ceramics business, but I mostly do hand-built and wheel-thrown pottery, and I plan to do small batch work and then work from home as a mom later in life. It was the pandemic. I ended up back at my parents' house, very much unemployed and was going to start to look for part-time work just to help fund my kiln um, because they are a couple grand to start out and I knew I wanted some kind of part-time work but I've also always really loved children. Children are some of the most creative people. They're not bound by boxes of people growing up and knowing expectations and they're some of the most creative individuals I've ever met and they just let anything happen. So having a whole class of 12 three-year-olds is very eventful. My degree from Georgia Tech really helped me in the fact that it gave me the following steps in how to do the accounting and the finances of having an art business, as well as having the diligence to continue on a process of being a self-starter and working by myself and doing all the different aspects of my job, being a social media manager, but also production manager and shipping and all the other aspects that come along with having an art business. When I was at Tech, I had a lot of my plate. I had my hands in a lot of different aspects of Tech. I was doing a lot of things with the arts, as well as the band, as well as Scheller, and then founding the Georgia Tech Juggling Club with some other friends. I had a lot going on, and right now I have a lot going on with a class of three-year-olds, as well as starting a business, and I feel like my time management has gone through the roof, and I'm able to actually accomplish those things simultaneously, rather than having to do one and then the other. I did marching band all the way through high school. Like a lot of our kids in our marching band, I was a drum major in high school as well. Um, and I took a year off to kind of give myself some breathing room, but then really missed band and loved that sense of community that we have here. And I feel extremely close to Georgia Tech traditions. We have some that are more unspoken and some very loud and proud and everyone sees. I've said to hell with Georgia since I was like seven. My favorite chant was, it's great to be a fuzzy bee, which we haven't done in a while, but I'm hoping we bring it back soon. And it's always just been part of my life in coming down to Atlanta and passing through the toll booths on 400 to come down to game day. And I really loved all of the traditions and just the rigor of the people that are here. You come from a high school where sometimes a lot of the kids who come here are the top in their class and they're the highest, but then you come here and everyone was top in their class. It's amazing to be surrounded by so many successful, great people. And a lot of my freshman friends are all working for so many impressive people. It's, it's spectacular.